Hi, my name is Josh from Zanata Consulting. Today I'm going to be talking about how to connect Zoho CRM records with forms in Zoho Creator. Oftentimes people are using the CRM as their home base for managing their contacts, accounts, and other information. And you likely might need to create a form to link with those already existing records. So instead of creating those records again inside of Creator, we can go ahead and use an integration field within the creator form to look up to those records that already exist in the CRM. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you how to do that and some cool tips and tricks around setting that up. Okay, inside of a creator, I've gone ahead and set up a demo application here. This is called Tasks. And the idea today is I want to connect these tasks with accounts that already exist in my CRM. So here is a CRM with a list of accounts. And let's say I want to be able to choose any one of these accounts when I'm creating a task. I, I want this task to be associated to a CRM record. So in the creator, I'm going to go into the form that I have. So here's this tasks form. If I open the form builder, scroll to the bottom, we'll see an integration field. This is a lookup field using integration services. Certain services, you have QuickBooks, Salesforce, Zoho CRM, and Recruit. All of these, well, uh, Salesforce is going to be looking at uh, any of the modules you have there, contacts, accounts, uh, invoices, so on. Uh, all, all of those modules would funnel in from Salesforce. CRM is the same. So if I come into CRM, I do have to choose a connection first. So you could create a connection with uh, other CRMs. Let me go ahead and just authorize this and then we will uh, uh, replay. So let me just authorize, accept. Okay, so that's all I needed to do to authorize. Modules, we're going to, we can choose from any of the modules that exist inside the CRM. Here we have contacts and accounts. Now uh, it's important to know these are only the system defined modules. None of the custom modules you create will show up here. And that goes the same with any custom fields. No custom fields will work in this as well. Uh, so if you wanted to pull a custom field that you have in the account, Unfortunately, you can't do that. Uh, only system-defined fields and modules will show up in this integration. So I'm gonna choose the account module in this case because I wanna link these tasks to accounts. And then the field I'm gonna choose is just the account name because I wanna choose the account based on the account name. Click done. After saving, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to account name. So it makes sense, that's what it is. And display fields, I could actually choose other fields to display uh, or search by. So if I wanted to search by the account number, maybe that's a good one to search by. Account type might be a good one. And let's put this at the top of the record. Let's just look real quick at what this field looks like. So now within the task form, I can search for an account by either the name, number, or type. And all of these accounts are already funneling in from the CRM. So I didn't have to create any of these records within Creator. They already exist because it's the integration lookup field. If I were to choose Zanata, so now I'm associating this task to Zanata. Let's just go ahead and create a test task. Status is open. Submit. As far as creating the field, that's all you have to do. To, to link the record to creator. Uh, so accounts are often one, is an often one that gets used, uh, or is one that gets used often. Uh, contacts, uh, sales orders possibly. So there's, there's a bunch of different deals is another one that gets used heavily from uh, the CRM. So all of those uh, uh, feed right in and you don't need to create those records, like I said. So that's the form, just creating the form on the within Creator. Next, I wanna show you how we can view these records in the CRM, because now that that task is actually linked to an account, if I go back to my task list here, 
let's uh let's show the account in here oh here we go okay so we have this one task in here that's associated to zanata and if i choose zanata i want to be able to see that task inside the crm and that's possible using the crm integration crm uh, uh, extension I go into settings within the CRM, click on settings, under marketplace, Zoho. Here we're able to integrate custom built applications. And we're essentially just going to import app from Zoho Creator. We choose our app, form name. It's going to create a tab. So it's gonna create a web tab inside of the CRM. And I could associate that tab to a tab group or not. So maybe you might have a bunch of different creator tabs that you want to group all together. Uh, you could certainly associate that to a tab group or you could associate it to a tab group you already have existing. That tasks already exist, so let me just say task new. When you are integrating the creator form, it's going to ask you to, if you want to make any modifications to the form itself. I usually always just bypass this page because you've already created the form, so no edits are needed there. Let's go ahead and link this form now to uh, records inside the CRM. So the related list name is going to be called tasks, and it's going to be linked to accounts because I, I am linking the task. In, in Creator, I have the task linked to an account. So inside the CRM, I'm going to create a related list called tasks to show all of those related tasks uh, within uh, that, that are in Creator, but it's going to display them inside the CRM. Field to map is going to be the account ID, and I'm going to choose the account name field that we have added on the form. So the account ID is a CRM field. Account name is the integration field we added inside of Creator. I'm going to choose the uh, report all tasks, and then let's bring in fields from the report into CRM. So the fields I want to display are due date, status, subject, and let's do file upload as well. Click save. Save. Now we have tasks as a related list, or tasks new as a related list on the accounts module. Click finish. Now I'm going to go into that account and at the bottom here we can see a tasks new related list. Clicking on that will then bring me to the bottom and I can see that task that we created inside of creator. So again, subject is test, status is open. I can view it here. Subject test status uh, open. I can also create new tasks as well from the CRM. So now if I wanted to create a task, I could just click add. It's gonna go ahead and auto-populate the account name. New task, test. And that's it. And now I can submit another one and another one. Once I'm done, I just click the X and now I can see those tasks added. I could also create, I could edit these tasks as well. So if I want, I could edit and make modifications to this as well. Before I end it, so inside the CRM, we have the related list, but we also have the tab that we created. Let me refresh my page because I don't think I've refreshed. At the bottom, yep, there we go. We have a tasks new tab. And this is going to show you that same report that exists inside of Creator. So if I get if I look in Creator, here's that same exact report. If I refresh, I'll see that new task that was created. Yep. And then if I go back here, I can see that's the same report, but it exists as a web tab inside the CRM. So I can do all the same functionality uh, within the CRM that I could do inside of Creator. Create. Uh, search, and so on. Uh, but this also exists as a related list. So 
Uh, those are the uh, benefits, obviously, of using CRM integration fields. This also works the same with uh, Salesforce and Recruit. Within Salesforce, I, I don't believe it's easy to, I, I don't, not sure if they have an integration on their end to display the related list records. Uh, same with Recruit, I'm not sure about that, but within the CRM, you certainly have that option. All right, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Take care.